Yo, yo, we in there, boys. Let's go. Let's fucking. That feels simply amazing. Anyway, welcome back to Best Halo Infinite Highlights, the best source of daily content for you. So today we gathered 8 minutes of Best Halo Infinite new real gameplay. So take your time and enjoy. Well, that's one of the obvious things you're looking at here. I know Sam was talking about it earlier. That's something that we've continued to kind of iterate and evolve, even beyond this build. I think this, oh, this might be our main build right now. Um, there's power weapon spawns there. Skewer is, uh, it's satisfying. We appreciate it a lot, and everybody involved in the hype train, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. So many good to do, dude. So many. What an epic day. Level five. And let me throw Rebo's name here. I gotta add this legend's name to my bust. Let's go, Rebo. out on the Xbox One hardware. It's great. I think I, I just noticed a custom skin applied to that AR there that we saw briefly. I missed it, unfortunately. I do love the... Oh, yeah. I love the AR skins. Yeah, it's it's kind of nice being able to customize your starting weapon. It's the one you're going to see most often, so I like to have mine uh, looking sharp. Now, internally, from a development and playtest perspective, I mean, obviously, we've got the teams focusing on all platforms and all builds. Seems like Skewer is a really decent weapon in you, Halo. I'll, g I'll give the OS to the, the enemy, which is, you know, super risky at that point. Oh, every spot. <laughs> I don't know what the other team's up to right now. Seems to be uh, watching that call out. Yeah, we the power-ups, we treat those like, you know, like, like the power weapons and stuff. They're up on a pad. They have a lot of messaging and broadcasting about them, so you know when they're coming up. Now your Spartan AI will tell you that, right? Yeah, the Spartan AI calls it out as well. So there's a lot of information just kind of driving feedback. You get the stick there. You can see like he'll like there's the weapon pa radics you'll see in the levels as well. He ran past one second. Right? Let's see. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's in the background, background, right? Yeah. What's cool about them is like you know before you might run past a, a where a weapon would spawn and then not realize that it's coming up in two seconds and it could change your choice and like how you deal with it. Like when we play test this morning, I actually stopped at one point on a weapon rack because I was like, oh, it's like two seconds out. I might as well wait for it and switch out my pistol, which I'm. I think I'm just telling everybody that I'm really bad with a lot of the guns in our game. <laughs> The strafe speed looks really, really quick, which I like. I think the strafe being really quick is awesome. And also the bots in the training mode, the bots looked really cool. It was like breaking his ankles whenever he was doing the, uh, I think it was the commando training. Someone in my chat put it best. They took the best parts from Halo 3 and merged it with the quality of life improvements from Halo 5. Well, I must say that I really like new graphics in Halo Infinite that seems so spicy and crispy, but there's one minus in overall gameplay. I don't really like these highlights on enemies, like these red and blue highlights. Tell me guys in the comments below what do you think about them. The entire sandbox in the flights as we swap things out, so it's actually not even the same kind of basically map placement pass that we would have in the, the release version of the game. But we, you know, it just at least gives us something so we can get something in there for people to play with. So, so smartly across different hardware, but I gotta say, shaping up super, super nice and really looking forward to getting some feedback from Xbox One players after this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, I think that's gonna wrap up that clip that we have. Now we're gonna show a little more gameplay here in a bit. Um, we're gonna have Tom French, our multiplayer associate creative director, join us. We have another match from Xbox Series X that we're going to get into. Um, but once this wraps up, we're going to jump back over to the build and uh, we're going to look through this real flight build here. By the way, I, I heard you most often, so I like to have mine uh, looking sharp. Now, internally, from a development and playtest perspective, I mean, obviously, we've got the teams focusing on all platforms and all builds. And safe to say that, that we've got folks truly getting sweaty on Durango, on Xbox Series X and S and low, med medium, and high PC specs as well, right? Yeah, so obviously, as I said before, we can't cover every 
PC spec out there, but we try to have a good range within our tester. Right. And now that's time for the weep on we all waited for, the heat wave. That's a pretty cool stuff and, you know, you have a two different modes which you can use for different attacks and that seems really cool. I was really proud of that um, and kind of how do we, introducing this kind of concept into the game and how can we can use this kind of more in the game. Uh, this weapon's really fun and the, the two alt modes, or the two modes are basically vertical and horizontal fire. Um, I can't remember how this drill performs. So, so see, one of the things cool about the drills um, is a lot of, they're trying to do behaviors that actually encourage you to use the weapon correctly. So like the, these two were bouncing near each other and so you can get a more optimal like kind of horizontal shot. Yeah, and I know folks notice it's pretty He's nuanced there, but I think you're oh. using your left trigger to sort of swap between those two different yeah, the firing two modes, modes, right? Okay. Yep. All right, get together, boys. Thank oh. you. Oh. And this will penetrate, oh. right? So you yeah, can line guys up and just take them all. Oh, Very cool. The last shot sucked. There we go. Yeah. So you can turn off in the settings, Yeah, you can right? turn them off, but on the, they're death tips is what we call them. But yeah, giving you a little bit of feedback, you know, about the type of weapon that killed you or like how you can re respond better to it. I'm not sure at this point the pro team needs to needs to know that like hey <laughs> yeah exactly really. uh, or, like just opt out if you don't really care about it if you don't need that information or it makes you feel bad as some people might feel In my sights. I do love this map yeah the pel I must tell that the game seems pretty decent on an Xbox one and I really want to see how it will look on my 4K monitor with a really decent PC. Tell me guys your specs and tell me do you have your ticket to the flights. Clearly we're looking at a little Slayer match here on Bazaar, one of our new maps. There's a lot to take in, I'm sure, for viewers who are just seeing a lot of stuff for the first time here. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. Clearly we're looking at a little Slayer match here on Bazaar, one of our new maps. There's a lot to take in, I'm sure, for viewers who are just seeing a lot of stuff for the first time here. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. And finally, a clip with some practice tools, which seems really cool if you want to improve your aim. So. Yeah, people are already making fun of me in the stream, I can see it. Or imagine, at least. I'm really terrible about managing my reloads. I'm like an incessant yep. reloader. Yep. Oh, see there, I probably shouldn't have reloaded right there. Well, it's, it's not, when we're missing shots like you and I do, it, it makes it a little hard to be predictable on that reload. I know, too, right? I really feel like it's part of my job to get better at this, and I'm trying, and and I, I am getting better. I'm a little more better at, like, BTB is kind of my brag. Thanks for being with us. Before you go, remember to comment which highlight is your favorite, and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to get into our video, just submit your clip via form in the description. Have a good day and I see you in the next one.